Yo, what up fellow disc golfers, Adam with High Action Disc Golf. I'm excited for today. We've got the Simon Lazat Mystery Box Tilt full review. I'm going to take this thing out to the course and I'm going to see what this thing can do and see what I can and can't do with it. More than likely there's a lot I can't do, but we'll see. Let's go. <music> Alright guys, and here we have it, the Discmania Tilt, designed by Tomas Ekstrom and Simon Lazat. This thing is an absolute meat hook. I have gotten to throw it a few times, and I have to say, Simon's goal of putting a smile on your face when you throw this thing is definitely, definitely what happened the first time I threw this. So this first throw, I'm just throwing it flat, probably about 60% power, just to give you an idea of what it does. And as you can see, man, I just barely throw it. And it just dumps to the ground immediately. I mean, I don't even think I made it 200 feet. Maybe 200 tops. It's just so crazy. In this next clip, I actually move over to hole one's tee pad, throwing to hole two's basket, just to make it a little bit closer. It's probably about 300 feet here, just to give you a reference. I'm gonna throw about 60% power again here and throw it flat, just to show you yet another throw when you don't really power up on it a lot. You just kind of throw it gently like you would, just kind of an approach shot. And you can see yet again, I mean, it just dumps out of the air immediately. I have never seen anything that just does not glide like this. It's absolutely nuts. Just wants to get to the ground the moment you release it out of your hand. In this clip, I actually throw it with a little bit more power. Try to power up probably about 80-85%. Really give a good, decent rip on it. And just see if I can get it to glide for any time at all. But it's just absolutely, it blows my mind every single time I throw this disc because it just does not want to fly. It just wants to hit the ground and finish the moment it comes out of your hand. So I throw it flat, and I get a little bit more distance, maybe 210, 215 tops. I mean, I'd be absolutely amazed if I could even get this disc 250 at my power level, honestly. The next throw here, I'm going to throw a hyzer angle, about 50 to 60% power, so you can see what the disc will do on a hyzer release. Now, unfortunately, I will let you guys know, there won't really be any forehand throws in this video. I'm a backhand player and not very good at a forehand, so if you want to find some forehand footage, I'd find somebody else. To be honest, there's plenty of really good reviews out there. But as you can see, the disc just goes straight to the ground. It's just insane how overstable this disc is. This disc is the definition of the term meat hook, for sure. And on this one, I'm going to try to power up on another hyzer and try to throw probably about 80-85% power, really try to throw it. And I'm actually going to attempt to spike it a little bit more, see if I can get that spike hyzer angle and see what it does. See if I can maybe push a little bit more distance out of it on a hyzer. And... Just like the other throws, not really at all. It just immediately turns to the ground. It just wants to hit the ground the moment it comes out of your hand. Now on this next one, I'm going to do something that I would never suggest to anybody. I'm going to try to throw my shoes off on this one. Put it on a hyzer angle and try to rip it as hard as I can. And see if I can break 220, maybe. And just maybe I can get some kind of distance out of this disc by giving it more height. And so I pull through and I give it more height for sure, but I don't give it any more distance. It just, it doesn't get distance. It's the craziest thing. You can get all the height in the world that you want, but you just cannot get major distance with this disc if you throw it on a hyzer. These next couple of throws you're going to see are on Anheuser releases, maybe about 75 to 80% power. See if I can get some distance on a flex line and just force it to flex and maybe hold in the air just a little bit longer. Now, I will let you know, another way that I've been told to throw this disc is upside down, but I like my thumb too much, and I play guitar, and I would rather not destroy my thumb. So again, that's another throw that you'll have to watch another reviewer to see what that does. Uh, so you see, I throw it a little bit low here, but it just flexes for maybe 50 feet, and then immediately goes to the ground again. It's just so crazy how fast this disc just flips back over to the right for me. For a righty, of course, it will flip back over to the left on a backhand. And then the second throw here, I'm going to throw about the same power, but I'm just going to try to give it a little more height. Maybe give it a little more height and see if that flex will last a little bit longer. Maybe give us a little bit of extra distance. Maybe see if we can at least break that 220, 230 mark. So I do give it the height, 
but it flattens out seriously within maybe 50 to 75 feet. And I think maybe I touched probably around 220 there, but this was definitely my max throw out of all of them that I attempted. The next few shots here that you're going to see is my attempts at rolling the disc and throwing down a backhand roller. Now, I do believe that this disc can be used in a multitude of different utility shots, and I definitely think that a cut roller can be something that this disc would be good at if you know how to do it properly. But this first throw, I tried to just get it to the ground immediately, and I put a whole lot of cut on it, and it actually cuts so hard that it almost rolls in the street. So you can see here, I just do this all in one take, because the disc maybe rolls 50 feet in front of me. It barely goes anywhere. It's just, it's so crazy. Most of my discs that I have would at least try to stand up a little bit, but this thing just doesn't even stand up. It just wants to flatten out and lay down like a plate. So the next one, I actually try to put it a little more left and put it on with a little bit more vertical angle so that I can push it forward, but it still just cuts out, and it cuts out so close to me that I just fast forward the video footage again and just go walk out and grab it again. And then right here, I point up and I point out. Basically, I'm saying here, I'm going to attempt a sky roller angle. I'm going to try to throw it up and maybe see if I can get the disc to come down on that angle and see if it'll fight out of that Anheuser angle and that roller angle before it goes. So I put some height on it, and it actually almost pans out before it gets to the ground. And when it hits, it's on such a steep angle that it just flops and falls on the ground, maybe five feet in front of where it initially hit. So this last throw from this angle is going to be a flick cut roller. Now again, I'm not very good at a forehand, so please don't judge my horrible forehand form. But I'm just going to try to throw this thing down as vertical as I possibly can, because I know that I can flick it more vertical than a backhand, and just see if I can get it to flip over at all. Which definitely doesn't work. It cuts out, heads left, and I maybe get 50 feet in total. So this next sequence of throws is the good stuff. This is the whole reason that I purchased this box. This is the whole reason that I wanted the tilt. I watched Simon Lazat's review of the disc when he got it, and he showed that you could throw this disc vertical on a grenade angle, holding it with a simple power hyzer grip, and it would fly just like a grenade throw of any normal disc that you would throw upside down. Now, I've attempted to throw a grenade upside down. I've tried the whole thumb throw, the standard grip, and it absolutely annihilated my thumb, and I vowed I'd never do it again because it seriously, I thought that I broke it. And I've also tried the Kevin Jones style grip where you use your index finger and you overlap your thumb over it. And I just can't get enough power to do that. I can't get enough grip strength and it slips out early. So when I found out that this disc was supposed to be able to release straight vertical and come straight down, I said, I need this disc. This is the disc that will fill the slot that I have been missing in my game this whole time. Because unfortunately, I've never been able to throw a tomahawk nor a thumber style throw either. My shoulder can't handle it. I injured my shoulder when I was a kid, and it's never been able to handle the torque of those overhand style throws. So a grenade is really the only type of throw that I can really utilize just reaching downward that doesn't absolutely destroy my shoulder. And you can see from the first couple of throws, I don't fully have the grenade form down quite yet, but it just still absolutely blows my mind i mean you throw it up it tilts vertical and just stabs straight to the ground i actually have a decent little crosswind today probably about 15 to 20 miles per hour that would affect any other disc that i threw up and it's a left to right right crosswind that would definitely catch the underside of this disc and you can see in the first couple of clips it just does nothing to it this disc does not care, and this disc just gets straight to the ground every single time you throw it straight up. It's so crazy and so amazing. So the next few sequences you're going to see, I actually move over to hole 4 on my course, which is about the same distance as the hole I was just throwing on, but it's just wide open. And I put the camera right behind me so you can see just how steep of an angle I am throwing this disc on. I'm basically throwing this on the steepest spike hyzer I can possibly handle with my physical ability and just throwing the disc straight up and just seeing if the disc will pan out to the right at all and every single throw I do with it no matter what the disc does its exact what it's named for it tilts down and drops straight to the ground no matter what 
Now, I've got to work on my form and get the distance better and really dial in the distance because I want to be able to throw it at least about 200 feet on a spike like that. So I've got to figure out the form, figure out where I need to reach back and how much height I really need to put on it versus distance. But I'm so happy to have this disc in my bag and I'm so happy to be able to just chunk these grenade style throws. I don't even know if you would call this a grenade, I guess. But I'm going to call it a grenade anyway because it's the only style shot that shapes like this. But it's just absolutely incredible. It's so much fun. And I can't wait to use this in a tournament. And these last couple of throws are just a couple of bonus throws. This hole is downhill and it's about 220, 225. And I'm just going to see if I can throw a couple of stock shots and see if I can get it there on a downhill. So this first throw, I'm just going to throw a spike hyzer and really try to rip on it and see on a downhill if I can reach this basket. And as you can see, it doesn't happen. I think I maybe threw it about 175 feet max and it just dumps straight out of the air just like I expected it to. And the last throw that I attempt is a big flex Anheuser throw because I know that you can get the most distance out of it like this without throwing it upside down, of course, which again, I'm not going to do. I like my thumb and I like playing guitar. So I'm just going to throw this out on a flex line and just see how far I can get down there. And maybe I can reach the basket. And rip it out to the left. It hooks up immediately. But I actually managed to get it to that tree. And that tree is about 20 feet from the basket. So that is a win in my book for sure. That's definitely the farthest I've thrown this disc thus far. And for the last clip, I'm about 20 to 25 feet away. And it wouldn't be a proper review if I didn't attempt to putt with a tilt. So let's attempt this putt and see if I jam it. And... I straight airball it, but that's not a representation of the disc. That's definitely a representation of my putting skills. And there you have it, guys. There is the Simon Lazat Disc Mania Tilt. This disc is nuts. This disc is absolutely crazy. It's the most hilarious disc I've ever thrown. It's the craziest disc I've ever thrown. And honestly, it's probably the funnest disc I've ever thrown. Now, if you're a beginner level player or you have a slower arm speed, you're not going to be able to use this disc, to be completely honest. I actually met a guy on the course while I was finishing up my review, and he saw that I was holding the disc, and he said, Oh, the tilt. That disc is junk. And honestly, I would be inclined to agree with you. If you don't know how to use this disc, and you don't understand this disc, this disc is junk to most people. But if you understand the utility that a disc like this enters into the sport of disc golf, and you truly understand what this disc is capable of when you use it properly and use it for the type of shots that it really works for and use that over stability to your advantage, this disc can open up so many opportunities that no disc has ever been able to do before. I myself can't wait to step up to my tournament in a couple of weeks on a specific hole that is really hard for me to reach with a lefty backhand that's got a beautiful wide open gap right in the top and rip it straight up in the sky and watch my card mates just watch in awe and see it fly straight over everything and just be like, whoa, dude, what did you throw? Oh, that was the tilt. I can't wait. This disc is so much fun. And honestly, it serves the one purpose that Simon Lazat said. He said he wanted to put a smile on everybody's faces that threw it. And the moment I threw this disc the first time, I laughed out loud. Not because I thought it was a joke, but just because I thought it was amazing. And I thought it was hilarious and it's fun. And it just, it just brings a smile to my face. Every friend that I've put this disc in their hands has smiled the moment they threw it. It's an awesome disc and it's so much fun. And I think this opens up so many possibilities for other manufacturers in the sport to create similar discs. And this opens up so many possibilities for different shot shapes that nobody else has come up with before. And I can't wait to see what this disc does to the sport of disc golf. And that's it, guys. That is my full review of the Disc Mania Tilt. If you enjoyed my review, please remember to like and subscribe. And feel free to leave a comment down below. If you've managed to throw the tilt, let me know what you think of it. And let me know what kind of crazy shot shapes you've done with it. Because I want to throw this disc as often as possible. And if you've got some other throws that I can try out, I'd love to do so. 
And if you've thrown it upside down, let me know what kind of distance you've got out of it. I'm not going to throw it upside down. I like my thumb, and I like playing guitar too much. But the max distance I've managed to get out of this thing is just a little over 200 feet, and that's trying to throw my shoes off a few times. I'm not going to lie. That's all I've got for you. I'm going to go hit the course and work on my grenade form and work on my grenades. This is Adam with High Action Disc Golf, and I'll catch you guys on the high road.